So with the rotating assembly finished, we're going to install this in the crankcase. Uh, we're, we're looking to center this hole in about the middle of that square, but what we want to do, the cylinder is later going to be attached here. The piston is going to sit about there. We want the connecting rod about level with everything else, and that's going to help us line up the height. So with, with the crankshaft in line, like that, that's the height we want the, uh, the hole to be. So looks like I'm about right in the middle is going to get me close enough. So I'm going to take one of the sides and I'm going to poke a hole through that. Now you want to be careful that you don't have your finger behind the cardboard when you're pushing like this or you're going to stab your finger and it will hurt. Uh, a few different ways you can do this. You can kind of make a V with your fingers. Uh, that's probably the easiest way. If you had a, a thinner, like the table edge here, we can kind of get in the middle there and we can kind of twist it and poke it through and get it most of the way through. And then we're going to have to push it the rest of the way through again, keeping your fingers out of the way right there. Boy, I got some thicker card. There we go. Okay, so there, that side is all the way through. So we've got this long side. We're going to use the long side to align where we want the other side to go. Now, again, we're trying to make everything nice and square, perpendicular or parallel. So we don't want this angled up or down. We want it to try and go straight across. So if I look at that, that looks pretty good, but we also have to look at it from the top. We don't want it twisted uh, forward or back, especially. So we're gonna line it up this way, turn it, line it up that way where it looks good. We're gonna kind of twist the long side through just like that, double check it. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, if we need to, we can re-poke the holes uh, on one side to, to get it <clears throat> to the place it needs to be. Long side is going to go in first and you might have to kind of twist the cardboard like that. Get that piece through. Line up the other side and again be careful you don't poke your finger like that. Alright, so if we've done this we should be able to spin this and the piston should stay pretty straight with the support right there. If it doesn't, if it's kind of shooting off to a side, uh, if you look at it right here and this is way down low, we might need to repoke those holes and adjust things. That looks like it'll work. Uh, I mentioned earlier I was worried I had glued this too high up, but as you can see, Right here, my crankshaft has plenty of room. The connecting rod does not hit right there. So I think we're, I think we're gonna be good. Looks like it's gonna work. We're ready to attach flywheels. So before we attach the flywheels, we do need to poke the hole in them. You can use a pencil, uh, your, your crankshaft wire, roughly in the center, the same way we poke the holes in the crankcase, being careful we don't poke our finger. We're going to poke a hole in each flywheel, and as close to the center as you can get it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer you get it, the smoother your engine's going to run. All right, so to glue these on, these have to be solid to the crankshaft. So if you notice, if I spin this without the flywheels, it stops almost instantly. When we attach the flywheels, and if we spin a flywheel, it, will, it should continue to spin for a little bit. That's the whole purpose of a flywheel, is to store momentum. 
on a four-stroke engine. The, the flywheels are what make the engine spin through the three non-power strokes. So we have to be very careful when we glue this. We want it solid. Uh, we got to let it cool completely before we are ready to uh, even touch it. So uh, I'm going to slide this. The short side is the hard side. So I'm going to show you how to do that first. I'm going to push <clears throat> the crankshaft all the way over. Uh, when we're finished, we want that centered, right? We want it centered on the cylinder. But for now, I'm going to push it all the way over because I don't want to glue to this. I'm going to slide this in and figure where we want it to go. So it's going to go about right there. Okay, I'm push it back over. I'm going to try and get glue back here if I can't. <clears throat> Not a huge deal. But what the, what's going to help this the most is we're going to bend this little extra bit of wire flat against that. So I'm going to grab that right where I felt like I wanted it to go. I'm going to, and this is tricky, especially on the short side, but I'm going to bend it 90 degrees, just like that. Now I'm going to glue that and glue over top of it so that it's firmly attached. And then we can slide it over and do pretty much the same thing to the other side. And if you can get them nice and straight, that's going to help a little. If they're wobbly, they're, it's, it's just going to kind of be a distracting, annoying, whatever you want to call it. So I'm using a fair bit of glue here and I'm spreading it around on the cardboard so we get a nice contact patch. Set my glue gun down, trying to keep it nice and straight. Oh, see, it's, it's going to take a little while to dry, so we'll wait for a second. All right, so I've slid it over this way now, so it's, it's touching on here and on this side. That's going to help keep it straight. I pulled on this side and it's pulled over and it's going to keep it nice and straight. I, I probably had it a little too far. Uh, I, it's not going to stay that way. So this flywheel we're going to put out a little further so we can slide the whole thing back. Uh, same process and, and this still isn't quite dry so I'm trying to keep it kind of tight and not wiggle that side. Uh, I'm going to do this one maybe about there. Uh, if you want you can cut this down don't really have to because again we're going to basically do the same thing we're going to put a big old bend in this so that when we glue that down it's going to glue right there and i think we'll go ahead and do that i'm going to squirt some glue underneath like that which i don't think i showed you on the other side push it into it and then we can put a little extra glue over top of it, set our glue gun down, and again, try and make that nice and straight. That one's a little easy, a little closer all by itself, and we'll let that cool. Almost done, we've got one more step, and that's installing the cylinder.